tie now, Leatherneck. Yeah. Americans are trapped in Ling Chuya. You are to go there immediately and escort them to safety. Yes, sir. Turn out the detail. Light marching order and snap into it. about two-thirds of the way there now. Hey, what's that place? That's General Lucas Sands' headquarters. More or less the military police outpost for Linchoria. Seems sort of quiet. It's funny, sir. We haven't been challenged yet. What's that? Oh, probably some wild animal. He hasn't been dead long, either. By his uniform, is from the fort. Most likely a sentry. Corporal, take two men and report this to General Lucas San. Return at once. Aye, aye, sir. I hate to take time out for this, but it's the only thing to do. That's strange. There isn't a mark on him. But take a look at that face. Something must have scared him to death. Anyone entering the fort must be destroyed. Keep your radio transmitter turned on. If they enter, I shall hear it. That will be my signal to strike. Yes, Master.
They've been gone 30 minutes now. Fire another shot, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Let's find out what's wrong. Get them going. All right, double time, power! Come on, then. Williams and Murphy, stand by here. Search the building. Hey, what is this? What's killing these people? Didn't happen very long ago. I've never seen anything like it. Do you think it could be poison gas, Lieutenant? The air smells kind of funny. No, if it were poison gas, they would have died violently. The general's still holding onto the pen he was writing with. To the Honorable Lin Wing, San Diego. You know, something does smell kind of funny. Like the odor in a powerhouse. They're, they're all dead, sir. Have the men searched upstairs? Not yet, sir. Have them do so immediately. Aye, aye, sir. You know, we're losing valuable time, but I hate to leave till we get to the bottom of this. Let's look around outside. Let's circle the fort. I'll meet you on the other side. Hey, look. Even the flies are dead. asks the court to believe that his men were the victims of some fantastic weapon of war, uh, some unheard of thing. I think, gentlemen, that you will agree such an idea is preposterous. Those brave and gallant men were killed by some natural cause. Because of the defendant's unwarranted curiosity, he not only caused his command to be wiped out, but he failed in the important mission to which he was assigned. The defendant happens to be the son of a member of this court. I trust that understandable paternal feelings will not hamper the court's just decisions in the case. Be assured, General, the case will be judged solely from a military standpoint. Sir, may I submit additional evidence to the court? You may. The letter is from the Lingshurian Consul in San Diego. What this letter implies is true. We have an even graver investigation on our hands. Get Lin Wing, Constable for Linchuria, on the phone. Hello. It 
This is Lin Wynn speaking. Yes? Yes, I wrote that letter before I knew. Before you knew what, Mr. Wing? Before I knew that knowledge of the lightning meant death. No. No, no, no. No, you must listen now. There may not be another chance. I have certain papers that the United States government must see. The fiend is behind a monstrous plot to control whole nations. What happened in Linchuria is but a small demonstration of his powers. I was part of the plan. But I'm willing to give myself up now. I'm ready to tell everything. I... The lightning! Ah! Hello? 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 Something's happened. Death from electrocution, gentlemen. What's this? Looks like something meant to represent lightning. He said something about lightning just before he screamed. Come over here, gentlemen. We'll see what this lamp connection is like. Some papers were removed from the wall safe and burned. Rockingham. That doesn't make much sense, does it? We might be able to photograph the writing on these ashes with an infrared camera. Then Warfield's our man. He has one. Warfield. You're right. Good evening, Benson. Good evening, Jeff. Mr. Warfield is expecting you. So you see, Mr. Warfield, how important it is to investigate. Why, that's the most amazing thing I've ever heard. Do you really believe, Tom, that a torpedo or a shell could be charged with that much electricity? That's the question I hope your father can answer. You see, Ben, the sudden death of Lin Wing caused a suspension of the court of inquiry. And unless Tom can back up his theory with sound scientific reasoning, it may go hard with him. Well, such a thing is not entirely outside the realms of electrical engineering. Good. It isn't myself I'm thinking of. There's a monster to be tracked down. A fiend who can menace the entire world with his diabolical machine. Take it easy, Tom. You'll need clues. I've got them. The person who killed Lin Wing emptied his safe of papers and burned them. I've got the ashes in this box. Interesting. Come downstairs to my laboratory and bring the box with you. Now, give me the largest piece you have in the box and put it between the plates. Very carefully. All right, Tom, throw the switch. You stay here. I'll see what's going on. Look. What is it? Someone was looking in. You imagined it, maybe. No, no, I saw it plainly. Come on, Corby, we'll look around. There he is. You go that way.
What's this? Sailing schedule for the Century Steamship Company. S. S. Rockingham. 10 p.m. March 22nd. The Rockingham? Say, that's what was written on that piece of paper we found in the fireplace. Something's going to happen to the Rockingham. shipment of gold aboard the Rockingham. This gold has vanished. Robbery of the gold shipment is proof that we're dealing with a criminal and not with supposed freak accidents of nature. Why, there's no telling when it may strike again. What is your theory concerning the Thunderbolt, Lieutenant? It is my belief, sir, that a method has been found to charge an aerial torpedo with an immense amount of electricity, which upon striking its target is immediately released. We have no defense for such a thing. My father is working with scientists tonight at the Warfield Factory Laboratory. I'll join them if I may. Go right ahead. Oh, hello, son. Come on in. Hello, hello Tom. Tom. Don't let me interrupt. Now, these corner plates will hold a terrific charge of electricity. But nothing to what the torpedo must contain. That is, if it is a torpedo. Now watch. Uh, you see, beyond a certain amperage, the plates collapse. In order to ensure success, we must find a medium that will carry an unlimited charge. trying to interfere with my plans or you will be next. Why, this place could be struck at any time. At all costs, this work must go on. I have an instrument at my home used by the Weather Bureau for locating electrical storms. An electrograph? Exactly. With one of those, we'd be warned of the Thunderbolt's approach and have time to get clear. Come with me, Tom, and we'll get it. Meantime, we've plenty to do. Strike at midnight? Okay. I'll tell the others. You got the lab's position? Right. Well, midnight. My chauffeur will drive you back. <clears throat> Wait here for Lieutenant Grayson. Yes, sir. You tell her, Tom. I'll get the electrograph. We've just had a message from the lightning. The lightning? At least that's how he signs himself. At least the electrograph will give us some warning. I hope so. Here it is, Tom. Thank you. Good night, sir. I'll see you off. Be careful. Don't worry, I will. Back to the laboratory. Hurry. Why, it's 
Jameson. Step on her, Jameson. Every minute counts. Yes, sir. What happened? I, I don't know, sir. I, I was hit from behind. But Tom, he was driven off by... By the man who hit Jameson. He probably doesn't realize it isn't the same chauffeur. We must warn the men at the lab and call the police. Get Miss Janet's car at the garage. Yes, sir. Benson, you get to a phone. Boom, silence, sir. There's no answer. Never mind. I'll take Janet's car. Father, all the tires on my car have been slashed. There's no way of repairing them, sir. Then I'll have to get to the nearest phone. There's not one for miles. You won't be safe. They'll try to stop you. I'll go with you, sir. No, you and Benson stay with Miss Janet. These occurrences tonight prove that something is going to happen to the lab. 10.40. I'll be lucky if I can get to a phone by midnight. You turned off on the wrong road. I'm sorry, sir. We need gas. There's a garage just ahead. Oh. Come on. Get out. To the Marines. Get some hope. Okay. This is a gadget that Marine was in such a hurry to get to the lab. <laughs> it was supposed to warn him in case a thunderbolt was heading their way. It was meant the laboratory won't need that or anything else after 12 o'clock. Why, is the light isn't going to torpedo the joint? Sure, at midnight. He wanted to be sure those scientists were there so they could appreciate it. 20 minutes to 12. You guys watch that Marine. I got the report. Lieutenant with that electrograph. Yes, it's getting late, isn't it? Nearly midnight. He'll be along soon. How would it be if I went out for some coffee and sandwiches? Now, that's a good idea. I'll hurry right back.
still alive. Carry him into the building. That'll finish him. What you wished, Master? I destroyed the instruments and the people working them. My secret is no longer in danger of discovery. You need more torpedo casings. I've already ordered a shipment of them. Soon I will be ready to dictate to those fools below us with their armies, their battleships, and their guns. There is no force on Earth I can't bring to my feet. The power of electricity can rule the world, Professor. And we control that power. I am never suspected. I move amongst those most anxious to find me out. The fools. Perhaps they think I'm too unimportant for them to suspect. No one will ever learn the identity of the lightning. I must see Mr. Warfield. What is your business? I'm a laboratory assistant at his factory. Well, park over there. I'll send word in that you're here. I was not able to reach a telephone and call the police until nearly midnight. Although I understand they got there as soon as they could. But too late to save Colonel Grayson and Renault. Colonel Grayson was a very dear friend of mine. That's the reason I'm placing everything I can at your service, General. Your father's murderer, Tom, must be brought to justice. Thank you, sir. But wasn't there somebody else working in the laboratory? Yes, Crenshaw. We tried to locate him, but couldn't find a trace anywhere. Mr. Crenshaw wishes to see you, sir. Have him come in. We've been wondering what had become of you. I just found out what happened, sir. It's horrible. When did you leave the laboratory, Crenshaw? A little before midnight. Colonel Grayson suggested I go out and get some sandwiches. And you didn't find out about a thunderbolt striking the laboratory till this morning? I was afraid to go back, sir. After that warning, by the lightning, I, I was afraid. If you were afraid, why are you here now? Believe me, sir, I want to help. I'm ashamed of the way I acted, and I want to make up for it. You see... I'm familiar with the line of investigation being followed by Colonel Grayson and Professor Renault. 
All right, Trencho, we can use your science. Come. I want you to take a look at this. We believe it to be a fragment of torpedo that struck the laboratory. Lieutenant Greason found it after the violent electrical charge had exhausted itself enough to allow for an investigation. Hmm, very unusual. It's like steel, but with many of the properties of copper. We must make an analysis of it if we can. <laughs> I'd be glad to, Lieutenant. Can you read me the formula? Just a moment, Mr. Brown. I have them right here. 6% chrome molybdenum, 40% copper with a high carbon content, 16% zinc, 1.5% lead. I'm sure we make it. It's a very peculiar alloy. You'll come here, then. I'll be expecting you. Not at all. Goodbye. May I suggest, sir, that Lieutenant Corby and I leave immediately for the Atlas Steel Company? A very excellent idea. You may be able to trace the lightning from there. If that is where he's having his torpedo casings made, that's what I hope to find out. Sir, we caught this fellow listening at the basement window. Why, Sam. Sam's our gardener. He wouldn't do anything wrong. You're right, Miss Warfield. I was trimming some bushes. Let him go, Corporal. Thank you, miss. Take care of yourself. We will. Marine lieutenants are on their way to the Atlas Steel Company. They must not discover the torpedo casings we have stored in Warehouse 5. Go there and remove as many of them as you can. Destroy the rest by the quick heat process. Hurry! You better get started. pull over a little. Pick up a load of casings. You got a requisition? Show me a requisition, Macro. Come on, inside. Lieutenant Grayson. How do you do? This is Lieutenant Corby. How do you do, sir? How do you do? Be seated, won't you? Thank you. Were you able to find out about that alloy? Yes, we've been making that formula for some time. What sort of things have been made with it? The report describes them as casings. And there's a notation here, experimental. That sounds as though it might be it. 
Could we have a look at those casings? Certainly. I'll have the watchman show you around. Get me the watchman warehouse five. Well, I guess that's a load. Will you take it away? We'll start breaking up the rest of them. Better lock that door. Keep trying. The watchman doesn't answer. That's all right. I'm sure we can find the place. It's warehouse five, just beyond the furnaces. Thank you, sir. boring shed. The furnaces must be over there. This must be the place. Say, there's something going on in there. You stay here by the door. I see another place to get in.
I'll fix him. General White. General White speaking. This is Lieutenant Grayson, sir. We've just located some of the torpedo casings used by the Lightning. At the Atlas Steel Company. Bring one of them over to the Warfield Home Laboratory. I'll meet you there and we'll see what we can find out about it. Yes, sir. We're instructed to bring a torpedo casing to the Warfield Laboratory. Place armed guards in the warehouse, Mr. Brown. Those casings are part of an infernal weapon being criminally used. I'll do so immediately. Go tell the light. He said it. Yes? This is the lightning. Listen carefully. Two Marine lieutenants are headed for the Warfield home in a station wagon. They have with them a torpedo casing which must not reach there. They are on Highway 72. Hurry! I understand. What's up? Come on. Hey, what's that up ahead? Looks like an accident. What's the matter? This man, he was hit by a truck. He needs first aid. Reach for it, soldier. Get them casings out of the car. Take him in for questioning. Come on, son. I think the old man would like to talk to you. While it's still far from perfect, it's an improvement over the Krona plates. Yes, but why go to all this trouble? Our aim is to stop the lightning, not make the torpedoes he uses. Well, I think General White will agree with me. And if you understand a weapon thoroughly, you can perfect a method of defense. Why, of course. One of the first rules of ordnance. General White, get here, Benson. Yes, sir. Have that casing brought down. 
Sam, give me a hand. Sir, we just captured one of the Lightning's men. I thought it would pay us to question him. You'll get nothing out of me. Uh, set it over there, will you, Benson? Yes, sir. Unless I'm mistaken, sir, casings like that are used for the body of the Thunderbolt. I see. You'd better tell us what you know. Yeah, I don't know nothing. Maybe to refresh your memory if you relaxed a little. Sit down. Uh, all you can do is turn me over to the cops. Turn a nice fellow like you over to the cops? <laughs> you know we wouldn't do anything like that. The police are too good for your kind. There are ways of forcing information from anyone. The Lightning has been guilty of many deaths. Anyone connected with him was a party to his crimes. I never heard of the life. Hey, how about a drink? Yeah, sure. What was in that? Scopalamine. Truth serum. You're going to tell the truth whether you want to or not. What do you mean? Shortly, you'll fall into a stupor and truthfully answer every question we put to you. No. No, you can't do that. If I... He'll kill me, I tell you. Who? The, the... You won't find out for me. The serum won't take long. And it will help a lot if we all keep quiet. Scopalamine has taken effect. The prisoner's subconscious mind will now answer any question put to it. Question him, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Listen. Can you hear me? Yes. What's your name? Jacobs. All right, Jacobs. Can you tell me who gives you your orders? A man they call the Lightning. Do you know who this man is? No. No one knows that. Do you know where he can be found? The Lightning can be found at the... What happened? What's happening to the Lightning? What's the matter? 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 What's the Lightning. The lightning was here? In this room? Look! The door! Did you ring, sir? No, I didn't ring. Come here. Where have you been the last ten minutes? In the kitchen, sir. Was anybody else with you? Yes, sir. The guard. Yes? It's for you, Lieutenant. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Lieutenant, this is Mr. Brown of the Atlas Steel Company. It's just occurred to me 
that we most likely have the shipping orders on those torpedo casings somewhere in our files. It was my thought that the address or name on them might give you a clue. All right, Lieutenant. I'll have a clerk look them up immediately. We'll keep them here for you. Thank you, Mr. Brown. The superintendent at the steel mill is looking up the shipping orders on those torpedo casings. You'll save them for me. You better go over. Take the dispatch cycle. It's outside. Yes, sir. Torby, you stay here. I may need you. Yes, sir. Send men to the Atlas Steel Company. The manager has shipping records of the torpedo casings. Get them! Where do you keep your shipping records? Why, uh, I, uh... This is it.
Yeah, we've been shipping those steel casings. What boat did the last shipment go on? Well, it was sent on the schooner Aurora last week. What was she bound for? I'll check. Cohorta Island. She's due there tomorrow. Thanks. No mention. It seems incredible if the Lightning can operate on such a large scale without disclosing his headquarters. Dealing with a criminal who has all the cunning of a madman. Which makes it all the more urgent to stop him, Mr. Warfield. What I can't understand is how the lightning seems to know our every move. You can count on having a marine guard at all times. I discovered the last load of torpedo cases was shipped south to Gohorta, sir. To the islands? What could the lightning be doing with them there? May I suggest, sir, that Lieutenant Corby and I leave for Gohorta at once. By flying, we can get there before the shipment arrives. The trail of those torpedo casings may lead us to the Lightning's base. Very well. I'll issue the necessary orders for the plane. We'll be ready to leave within the hour. Take good care of yourself, good my boy. Good luck you both. Bye, Tom. Goodbye. Just what are you doing here, Benson? I was waiting to see Mr. Warfield. I've just received news that might require my making a short trip. A personal matter. You know, I've got a feeling I'm not going to like that guy. Come on. There she is. We're taking off at once. We're leaving immediately for Gahorda Island. Has something happened? Not yet. But those fools may stumble upon a clue that will force me to eliminate them. The boat we're after isn't in yet. Looks like it. I guess the best thing to do is to change into civvies and wait for her ashore. Right. some of the crew over there. Now's our chance to get aboard. I've got a rowboat down by the docks. Let's go.
Has the Aurora reached the island yet? Yes, they're standing by for orders to unload the casing. They can't unload there now. We'll have to transship them to the sub and bring it directly here. Why? What's up? Never mind. Get to Gehorda at once. Tell Ellis to bring the schooner around to Gull Point. Aye, aye, sir. You want to meet the Aurora with the submarine? Yes. The authorities are on our trail. We can't take any chances on having that shipment followed. Stand by. We'll have to get back to the schooner and put out right away. What's the idea? The boss's orders. Come on, I'll tell you on the way. Come on, let's get busy. Have you sighted the Aurora yet? No, sir. This looks like it might be it. Yeah. That attachment is a gyro control. Well, let's see if we can get it off. Get out your pliers. the engine. Get one of the gas drums loose and fill the tanks.
Jones, hurry! Don't those fools hurry! Oh, 
are you? Here I am, Tom. Are you all right? <coughs> I'm all right, but our boat's gone. Is that far ashore? Let's swim for it. Okay. Bring your men aboard. Quickly, we've no time to lose. Flying back to the mainland. Keep the submarine ready to move at any time. You and your men stand by for orders. Yes, sir. If there's anything to be done, I'll call you by radio. Almost human again. <coughs> Ready to go to work? Sure. Say, do you suppose that fire damaged the cargo? Oh, I don't think so. She sunk too fast. The important thing is to find that gyroscope we lost during the fight. Do you suppose we could locate any diving gear around here? Hey, that's worth a try. You know that small directional gyroscope in the nose of the torpedo casing? Maybe the answer to, to the lightning's thunderbolt. I'll cable General White. Fine. While you're doing that, I'll see if I can locate some diving gear. Right. I'll meet you on the dock. that any method of insulation would be effective against the thunderbolts? Definitely no. These torpedoes come at too much speed and are too highly charged for any ordinary insulation to resist them. Crenshaw here has just returned by plane from a conference with his colleagues at the Institute of Electrical Research. What did they say? That our best bet is the development of some type of ray which will deflect the torpedo from its course. That's why it's so important for us to discover just how those torpedoes are constructed. Come in. A cablegram for General White, sir. Thank you. From Lieutenant Grayson, the schooner with its cargo has been sunk. He thinks by diving we can salvage what he believes to be the gyroscopic directional control of the Thunderbolt. Splendid. That's our first good lead. I knew Tom would succeed. They haven't gotten it yet, Miss Warfield. We must not underestimate the lightning. Crenshaw's right. The less we say, the better. The lightning seems to hear everything. Calling Ocean Base ZY. Calling Ocean Base ZY. Ocean Base ZY standing by. This is the lightning. Two Marine lieutenants are going to salvage the Aurora's cargo. Stop them! Message received. Go ahead, Lightning. Get gyroscopes out of wreck. Use the submarine and diving gear. Yes, Lightning. Todd, ready? The stuff all loaded? Yep, it's all loaded. Get below. All right.
I just found a sponge fisherman with a boat and some diving gear and made a deal for it. Swell, let's go. Uh, excuse me, uh, are you the fellow who was looking for a boat and uh, diving gear? Why, yes, but we just hired all we need. Yeah, but you'll be needing good equipment, won't you? What do you mean? You boys are new around here. I know old Turner's diving gear, and I wouldn't use it. Now, I can show you some good stuff if you're interested. Sure, we'll look at it. Where is it? Oh, just down the line. Come on. Here they come. Right over here. Give me a hand, will you? All right, get him. want to go, let them go. Yeah, let them go. Come on, we got work to do. All set? Lock it up. What do you make of that? They beat us to it. Retract the periscope. Pete, level off at six fathoms, then dead ahead, slow. Right. Watch the Ford port. take you to get in a diving suit. About 10 minutes. That's too long. Put me out through that torpedo tube. I can fix him. You can? You bet. Get the lock ready. All set.
why he's coming back. He's in. Good work, Pete. Blow all ballast tanks. Stand by for emergency rise. Break out forward gun. Number one gun crew at firing station. take you to get in a diving suit. About 10 minutes. That's too long. Put me out to that torpedo tube. I can fix him. You can? You bet. Get the lock ready. All set. Ready. Right. Coming back. Good work, Pete. 
Low all ballast tanks. Stand by for emergency rides. Take out forward gun. Number one gun crew at firing station. I sure thought you were a goner. I had enough air left in my suit to enable me to walk ashore. The gyroscope? Yeah, I got it out of the wreck, just before my airline was cut. In my opinion, that's the most important thing we found yet. It may answer the entire mystery of the lightning's thunderbolt. I hope so. Anyway, get me out of this thing. I've got to get a call through to General White. There's a naval radio station just around the point. While you're calling, I'll see if I can get some clothes. Hope these clothes fit. It's all ahead. General White? Lieutenant Grayson reporting. Yes, Lieutenant. We have succeeded in salvaging one of the gyroscopic guiding devices for the Thunderbolt. Stand by, Lieutenant. I want to cut the lab in on this. They should hear about it. Operator? Yes, sir. Connect civilian station 84 with this hookup. Calling station 84. Calling station 84. Calling station 84. Station 84 to Marine Base. Warfield speaking. Oh, Mr. Warfield. Lieutenant Grayson is reporting some important information. I want you to listen in on this. Go ahead, Lieutenant. Mr. Warfield, I have the instruments the Lightning uses for guiding his aerial torpedo to their target. A laboratory breakdown of it should prove invaluable to us. Sounds important, eh, Warfield? Very. We should have it here at once. How long will it take to get that gyroscope here, Lieutenant Grayson? It'll be aboard the Trans-Pacific Dirigible, which reaches the mainland tomorrow morning, sir. Good work, Lieutenant. Continue with your investigations on the island. Yes, sir. The dirigible's call number is D5 on 6.3 meters. Calling dirigible D5, flight 9. Grayson calling dirigible D5, flight 9. Dirigible D5 to Grayson, standing by. Look! They're coming down the wharf. What'll we do? Come on, we'll have to hide in the rear compartment. any breaks. Head back and land on the other side of the point.
Keep him covered. the dirigible's position? Approximately. If our plans to stop those two Marines fail, we must destroy that dirigible. We can't afford to let that gyroscope reach the mainland. There she is. Get the hook on gear ready. Grayson calling dirigible D5, flight 9. Grayson calling dirigible D5, flight 9. Dirigible D5 to Grayson, standing by. Stand by for hook on. What's your airspeed? Airspeed 95, altitude 4000, course north by northeast. No wind, gear ready, standing by. Check, coming in. You set? All set. Stand by for a pickup. should be placed under guard, Captain. He's a desperate character. I'll radio ahead and have the authorities pick him up when we reach the mainland. All right, Lieutenant. Take him to the cabin. The island lookout just radioed that the plane has contacted the dirigible. Increase our speed! the instrument, sir. Great care must be taken of it. Your call is through, Lieutenant. Lieutenant Grayson calling General White. General White standing by. Go ahead, Lieutenant. We have the gyroscope safely aboard the dirigible. An attempt was made to stop us. We captured one of the Lightning's men. He will be kept under guard until we reach the mainland. Then, sir, I suggest... Oh. Lieutenant Grayson. Lieutenant Grayson. Stand by. Stand What's by. What's the idea? That that gyroscope, if it stays on board, will all be blown to bits. What do you mean? The lightning knows about it. He knows by now it's aboard the dirigible. I tell you, the lightning stops at nothing. He'll torpedo us. I know he will. Can the lightning be reached by radio? Can he? Yeah. 4.1 meters. General White. Go ahead, Lieutenant. This is urgent, sir. Send out a general call to all shore stations to stand by to intercept any message from the wing on 4.1 meters. Instruct them to use directional finder to determine the wing's location. I'll be standing by, sir. Right, Lieutenant. Emergency calling base station NC. Will this set broadcast at 4.1 meters? I can tune to that, sir. Emergency calling base station NC. Emergency calling base station NC. Emergency calling base station NC. Ellis, you're going to be given the chance to live. Call the lightning on that radio and keep him talking. That won't stop him. I tell you, we're all as good as dead. Do as I say. You're 
one chance. Elvis calling the lightning. Elvis calling the lightning. Elvis calling the lightning. Go ahead, Ellis. Where are you? Aboard the dirigible. Have they got the gyroscope there? Yes. Tell them to throw it overboard or we'll torpedo the dirigible. Go ahead to station calling all planes. Calling all planes. Wings direction, 272. Wings direction, 272. Marine base station calling all planes. Calling all planes. Wings direction, 4343. That puts the wing about 100 miles to the east of us. Come on, Corby, we'll take off and intercept it. Come on, the parachute! 